Welcome back. In this video, we will be translating the antechamber west wall of the tomb of King Unis's pyramid texts. The Horus King acquires the horizon will be in three parts. One, the king as Horus of the south or Hierakopolis. Two, the king as a living Osiris. And three, the king is a living Horus. In the description, you will find links to the translations and images. Please like and subscribe. All right, starting on the top right, the Great One will be sensed for the Bull of Nechen. The flame of the blast toward you who are behind the shrine or around the shrine. O oh, great God, whose name is unknown, a meal in the place of the soul or the one God. O oh, Lord of the horizon, make a place for King Unis. If you fail to make a place, make a place, for King Unis, then I will make, continuing up here, for King Unis, a curse for his father Geb, saying, the earth, it will speak no more. Geb, he will not have any guards. And whomever that King Unis finds in his way, he will eat him. The birds. The pelican will prophesy. The nine's bird will come forth. And the great one will arise. Going up here now. The gods will speak. The earth has been entirely dammed up. Dammed up either side of the riverbanks have been joined together. Continuing here. And the riverbanks have been united. And the roads have been made impassable to the travelers. And the slopes have been destroyed to those who would go up by the one with the great plow. The rope has been guided. The beaten path has been crossed. Going up. The ball struck at the mouth of the canal of the Apis. Oh, for your fields of reeds are in fear. You climbing star before the pillar of stars. They have seen the pillar of Kenzet, the bull of the sky. And the oxherd shall be made overwhelmed upon its stem. O oh, fear and trembling, going up here, shall descend upon the knife bearers before, these are together, the storm of the sky. For he has parted the earth in what he has known or knew on the day when he wishes to come in. O oh, by the God with the great plow who is in the midst, these two are together, of the duet. Look, these two are together. She comes to meet you, the beautiful Western goddess, to meet you, going up here, with her beautiful, her tresses. Oh, she says, 
Here comes the one I gave birth to. And his horn is upstanding or risen. I painted pillar, the bull of the sky. Your shape is notable. Pass in peace. For I have protected you. O says by the beautiful west to King Unis. Depart and may you row, continuing up here, to the fields of offerings and may you travel to the tree of his height. So said by his thighs forward. May you plow into the earth to your thickness, to your middle, and to your shoulders. You shall see Ray in his fetters. You shall praise Ray in his loosing of fetters by means of the great one's aegis, which continues here, which is in his red linen. Lord of peace, he has given you your titles. O oh, you apes who have cut off heads. King Unis, he will pass you in peace. He has tied his head on his neck. The neck of King Unis is on his torso. In this, his name of the head tear by means of his tying of the head, which goes up here now, of the apis or the apis bull in it. On that day of the long horned bull, which is here, was lassoed. Since then, King Unis has allowed them to eat from their cups and that they may eat from their inundation. Oh, King Unis will be protected therein by those who see him. The endowment Uriai upon her staff, Tefnut of King Unis, who supports Shu in her widening of his place in Besuris or Jedu, being up here, in Mendes or Jedit and in Jetu. She is erecting a dual standard as in front of the Great Ones. And she is excavating a pool for King Unis in the field of reeds. Going up here. And she is confirming his farmland in the fields of offering. For King Unis will judge between the two contestants, or the two great contestants, in the great immersion. For... His power, going up here, is in the power of the eye of Tebi, and his strength is the strength of the eye of Tebi. King Unis would protect himself from those who would, from those who would do it against him. This continues here, going over here. Who would take away his food from him when he was there 
who would take his supper from him when it was there. And now this is cut off over here. And who would take the breath of my nose, which is somewhere around here, cuts off around there. And this continues up here. And would bring to the end of his days of life. The force of King Unis is against them when he is apparent upon the, the shore. Their hearts will fall to his fingers and their entrails, this part's gonna be missing, are for the denizens of the sky. And this continues over here. Their red parts are for the denizens of the earth. Their heirs are to be poor, their houses to conflagration or conflagration, and their courtyards to the great Nile. Now here it says, my heart or his heart is sweet, and this is gonna repeat for his heart is sweet. So it repeats twice and then it goes up here. This King Unis is the unique one, the bull of the sky. Now he has removed those that have done against him and he has annihilated their survivors before his throne. All right, the rest of the section is missing, but we'll read it through from comparison to the other pyramid texts. which I have taken and lifted up. This is, which continues on here, which, continuing up here, my father Shu. He has given in the presence of Seth. Word spoken. The horizon will be sensed for Horus of Nechem, a meal for the Lord's. The horizon will be sensed for Horus of Nechem. Now, some of the section here is missing. The blast of a flame will be towards you. And then over here, it's going to go to. And who are around the shrine. And then the outburst of its, of its flame will be towards you. Who raise up the great one. The horizon will be sensed for Horus of Nechem a meal for the lords. Here there is missing a section. It says, oh, you hateful one. And then it goes up here. Hateful one of character and hateful one of shape. Remove yourself from your place and lay your insignia of rank on the earth for King Unis. If you do not remove yourself from your place. The rest of the stuff uh, section is missing and it says, and lay your insignia on the rank or of the rank on the ground, which stops there and then continues up here. Then I will come, King Unis, his face being that of the great one, Lord of power who is strong through the injury that was done to him. For I will put flame in my eye, which is missing here. I'm going up here. And it will encompass or surround and behind you. And it will, it will set a storm among the doers of evil deeds and gushing it among these primeval ones. And here it says, I will smite away, and the rest is missing, the arms of Shu, which support the sky. And going up here, and King Unis, I will thrust his shoulder into that rampant 
which you lean into. For indeed it, he will rise for the great one who is in or among. This is going to go here. His shrine. The rest is missing, which says, and lay his insignia on the ground for it. And now we go up here. And King Unis, he has uh, received the authoritative speech and has power through understanding. Word spoken. King Unis has succeeded to Geb. King Unis has succeeded to Geb. Continuing up here. He has succeeded a tomb. And he is on the throne of Horus of the firstborn. And now his eye is in his strength. Continuing here, he was protected from what was done against him. The flaming of the blast of his Uriai is that of Renetutet on his head. King Unis has set his fear in their hearts by, by making strife, strife with them. And seeing, continuing up here, the gods in nudity or without clothes, and they bowing to King Unis in adoration, row him his mother, tow him in his abode. And this goes here haul your cable. Word spoken, there is excitement in the sky, seeing of something new, they say, the primeval gods. Then, O you Aeneid, Horus, which goes here, it's one word, Horus, and then up here, is in the sunlight. He has terrorized the lords of forms. May he be served by the dual Aeneid of a tomb. For he sits on the throne of the Lord Atum. King Unis will receive the sky and he will cleave its iron. King Unis will lead on, continuing up here, the roads to Kepri. When King Unis rests in life in the West, and those of the Duat will follow him. And when King Unis shines anew in the East, and he will come, the one who parted chaos in bowing. I'm going up here now. King Unis has made quiver the gods being senior to the great one of him and to take control in his throne. King Onus has brought authoritative speech. You have brought eternity. He shall place understanding at his feet. Hall, continuing up here, the sky boat for King Onus. For he has acquired the horizon. Word spoken. This Osiris King Unis is in a dust cloud. This is his detestation, the earth. King Unis will not enter into Geb, lest he perishes and he sleeps in his mansion upon the earth. And being broken... That goes up here. His bones and his obstructions removed. King Unis has become pure through the eye of Horus. And his ill has been removed or illness been removed by the two kites of Osiris. The two kites being Isis and Nephthys, the sisters of Osiris.
King Unas has shed his outflow in Kenis or Kus, for it is by his sister, and that goes up here, Wajet, that laments him, saying, King Unas shall go on the sky, King Unas shall go on the sky, on the wind, on the wind. He shall not be turned away, and he shall have none of those turned away from him. He shall sit on the tribunal of the gods. This King Unis is of his own, the senior of the gods. His offering is for above with Re. This feast is in Nun, and this King Unis, he goes around, and he goes with Re, and he embraces his mansion. Bestowing, or he bestows, here we go, King Unis the cause, and he takes away the cause. He will put an obstacle, and he will remove an obstacle. King Unis will spend the day and his sleeping nights. He will pacify the two adzes, being Horus and Seth, in Hermopolis, or Wenu. His foot will not be opposed, and his heart, it will not be barred. All right, up here now. Words spoken, O Geb, the bull of Nut. This Horus, King Unis, is the heir to his father. This King Unis has gone and come as the fourth of these, these four gods, who fetches water and who administers purification scrubbing. 